Hello Elvenar fans, it's iDavis here, you may know me from my own YouTube channel and today I am here with Barkani, the main protagonist of the Great Excalation event. He is going to share with us the valuable ancient knowledge he found, essential to succeed on your way through uncovering the buried city and the many treasures hidden inside. What's more, we will introduce a brand new feature coming with this event, the Golden Eye. But before we begin, Please subscribe to this channel to never miss any news about your favorite game. Hello Barkani, I come from the community of humans and elves. There are many brave workers on our side who are willing to join the excavation, but we need your help. You are the only one who can lead us through all the dangers and trials that the excavation will bring. I have people, you have knowledge, so together we can discover your history. Greetings and my deepest gratitude for all the effort you are showing. Let us waste no time. I will give you the scrolls that I have quickly copied from the ancient reliefs on the walls. They will show you how to use the tools we will need and help us understand their power over the world of never-ending sand. It says here that once in a while, the earthquakes unearth local ancient tombs, hiding all kinds of lost material infused with magical power. All we need are a few volunteers, a piece of rope to bring them down, and they can carry the tools we need for the excavation, right? Slow down, my honorable. The local tombs are very unpredictable and extremely dangerous. I do not want any human or elf to be burdened with tools. We have animals that can carry all the required cargo for us. Here we are. The donkeys appear to be of brilliant help. If we keep purchasing two packs of bundle tools at a time, we can save many donkeys as they will bring the most tools for the smallest amount of provisions spent. We should keep that in mind. Exactly. And have you seen the new deals we have managed to cut with our craftsmen? All of the tools are much more affordable now. Then, let's see what the rest of the scrolls say. The amazing power of shovels is mentioned here. It is said that they reveal the one respective sandy tile you dig into, and therefore, out of all available tools, they are the most beneficial option towards moving forward in the buried city. We can also use them to prepare the space to use the other tools and to collect ancient knowledge and treasures that are located far from each other. Second, we have the Bottled Wind. The Bottled Wind comes in handy when we want to clear out a lot of treasures in one column of the buried city, or to get as much information about the surrounding columns as possible. It says here that it's important to wisely choose the column in which we want the bottle to be opened. Exactly, but think twice. The wind can only blow as long as there is no stone wall placed in the way. It is better to use other tools if the area is too small, in order to not waste any bottles. Well, how about the vacuum vial then? It's the third and the last of our tools with the most spectacular effect. The power of revealing a 3 by 3 area of sandy tiles, which could especially be useful when we get blocked by many obstacles laid out in our way. Its power is so strong that even the smallest opening between obstacles can be cleared to a crystal purity and help us discover many rewards that would otherwise consume too many other tools. Rather than using many shovels to collect rewards being placed close to each other but located in different columns, we can use vacuum vial to collect all the prizes at once. You can read writings of foreign cultures pretty well. Now, my honorable. I will give you one last scroll that my people recently found under the nearby ancient ruins. It says something about the lost power of Golden Eye. The Golden Eye? I have never heard of this before. It must have been hidden under our nose for centuries. The Golden Eye comes as the newest addition for the Great Excavation event. From now on, every time we reveal a tile that does not contain a reward, a power charge will be added to the Golden Eye. As soon as the Golden Eye reaches its full power, and you have an undiscovered area that you want to know if it contains treasure, you can decide to activate its divine effect to reveal the locations of all hidden rewards within the event window. Barkani, this knowledge is an amazing help for all of our miners. 
Indeed, my honorable. But be warned that the golden eye cannot draw any more power from the shifting sands when it is fully charged. So use it strategically. What a great help your people are being to us. This is all the knowledge that we are able to draw from the ancient wisdom, and now it's up to you to call all the brave humans and elves from your city to help recover the magnificent treasures hidden below. I am in your debt, and I believe the great excavation will go down in history once again. Barkani seems to be a true inspiration for all of us to help others fearlessly. Previously a humble scout from the buried city, he is now taking his people's fate into his own hands. Thank you very much for watching and we wish you good luck excavating.